Hi everyone, this is a Ricoh MPC4504 service mode and this also pertains to the 3504 of course and the MPC3004. Now there's several ways to pull up the um, the keypad in order to get into the service mode. You can either hit copy or here and then the keypad shows up here or you can actually go to printer classic and then the keypad shows up there and you'll punch in the service mode numbers. Now, if in, in the event that the machine is has a department code on it, you can't get to the keypad or anything like that, there's a side access panel right here with a little clip. You can go ahead and remove that access panel. There's three buttons. You hold down, hold down the, the bottom button, the one closest to you, the front button. While you're holding that down, press check status and it'll pull up the, the keypad. Now to get into the service mode on this Rico is reset eight zero six one eight two. Hold the C down and you are in service mode. Now I'd like to every time I go into the service mode as a field service technician. I always check in to see what the consumable counts are on each item on each consumable part like the drums and the developers so I do a counter list printout execute and you can actually see where the current yields are or meter readings are on each on each item so the black drum is at 260,000 and it's targeted for 400k the developers, the CMYK are all at, um, looks like, oh no, at least the CMYK, C color, the cyan, magenta, and yellow are all at 80,000, and they're targeted for 270,000 pages. Um, so I'd like to do a quick check just to see if they're close to its, um, to its um, lifespan, and that will help me determine if um, copy quality issues or jamming or any kind of problems it will help me determine if those parts needs to be changed uh, immediately or coming up soon so as a field service tech you'd want to keep track of your items in the, um, the the high consumable items like the fuse units feet ADF pickup rollers um, it gives you a good so these are pretty new at 29,000 it gives you a good indication of when the last time hopefully uh, when when us as techs go in and change these parts that we go ahead and reset the counter and uh, which would really help um, keeping track of of parts in each machine so that's one that I like to go in another popular one in the service mode on the on the Ricos is the system SP and if you get a fuser error you go to the SP 5810 right here SC reset and you can see fusing SC reset if you get a fuser error um, after checking of course the um, the fuser unit checking if the thermistor might be dirty um, anything in the fuser there might be a paper stuck in the fuser that's just blocking um, temp just inhibiting correct temperature in the in the heating element you might want to check all those things before you do a reset here on the fuser but um, you can actually reset the fuser here in the service mode. All right, have a great day.